On the Luxury Home Show, we're used to being in London, showing you guys around thin terrace houses at five, 10, even 15 million pounds plus. I'm gonna show you today and demonstrate excellent value here in this home behind me. On the market for offers over 1.7 million pounds in Northamptonshire, backing onto a fantastic golf course. Summer, so, what are your first impressions? I love a modern symmetrical house, so this house from the back especially looks incredible. The exterior is a white render with grey windows, the black garage, very modernist feel. Inside we have six bedrooms, around 5,000 square feet, and wait till you see this open plan area. I believe you guys are going to love this interior, we can't wait to show you inside. On the market for offers over £1.7 million with Jonathan from Finer Country, all the details will be in the description below. So we have the driveway enough space for around eight vehicles the double garage over here you have a side access on each side but can we take a moment to appreciate this entrance so we have the black door in the center all of this glazing you can peer inside to see the chandelier it looks absolutely stunning I mentioned we're in Northamptonshire we're very close to the M1 so yeah under two hours to London from this location before we head in and start the tour I'd like to introduce you to the owner Ricky So my name is Ricky Darlow, um, from Northamptonshire, my company is Oaklow Group. Um, my background has uh, been in construction and housing pretty much all my life. Uh, from when I was like 16 years old, I started working in construction and uh, really had a good passion for it from a young age and wanted to fulfil that through. It's nice to have you guys here to come and take a look at it. We're now starting the tour in the entrance. So as I look up, we have the chandelier up there, tons of natural light pouring in. And of course, your attention is drawn to this staircase. So totally changed. This isn't a brand new build. This is a redevelopment of an existing property. So then the old property is here at the front and then there's a giant extension as well as other changes towards the back. I'm gonna take you into the snug, the cozy room, your movie room, somewhere to hang out as a family in the evenings. And then you've got the TV on there, the fireplace, some really cool storage actually hidden in the side of these, very seamless as you can see. Yes, we do love a hidden door, don't we, Matt? 100%, it's needed. That's how you keep the house looking so minimal like this. You need storage. We've got the windows then framing a lovely view out to the front garden. Let's take a walk this way. On the floor, we have rockier tiles. Now, these feel really nice on the feet, but now we're in the open plan area, one of the most show-stopping spaces that I've ever seen in a property in the UK. When we purchased the existing dwelling, it was sort of like yellow brick at the front, like a 90s build uh, with red tile. I knew it was the right plot to create something even better on, if you like. The owner, Ricky, got a lot of inspiration for this particular design from actually watching videos on our channel during our time in Marbella. It's funny enough, you guys are here, because like I said, I was watching your YouTube channel in Marbella, that amazing white, huge white home. And I was literally having it on pause, screenshotting various design elements, uh, sending them to my wife, like, this is how we've got to do this house. Uh, when I first moved to Northampton, I used to drive down here and think I'd love to live down here. All these big houses, golf course, very unique. I'm gonna take you this way so we can look at this part a little more. Now, we've talked about symmetry. It was very important in the design of this home. So we have aspects like the doorways here, providing symmetry for the overall space a gorgeous sofa area here, looking onto the giant TV on the wall, perfectly positioned in the frame there. Now there is the option to purchase this property with what you see and the furniture included. I know you guys sometimes ask about that. We again have the porcelain tiles on the wall with the nice insets for speakers, pictures, and bits of different artwork, the electric fire underneath there. Now, one of the most impressive parts about this room is the flush ceiling, which is achieved by an enormous amount of steel, around 12 tonnes in total. Summer, as you can see all of that from where you are, what are your thoughts? Absolutely incredible. This is, I think, the biggest open plan room I've seen in England. Agreed. Everything just feels on such a grand scale. Like when we walk over to the kitchen island, there's so much space between the worktops this side and the island in the centre. So we've just come past the eight-seated dining table here in the centre. Really nice light fitting above there. And what a place to banquet with your family, eh? Shall we head over to the bar? 
Let's check out the bar. We've got the bar stools here, really nicely positioned. I think an ideal size bar, everything you need. And look, it's what it's about. Modern day, open plan living. You've got all your friends and family over. You're entertaining the bar here, different seating areas. It's very cool. Are you going to make me a cocktail? What would you like? Can I get a porn star martini, please? You can have a Pepsi. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to please. Now, let's continue the tour through this way. This is the utility. But what I really like about this space actually is this area here, the dog shower. Oh yes, Ricky has two little dogs, so they get showered before coming into the house. So this is from your side access. You can come in through the gate, come in through this way, use the dog shower. Really nice finish in here again. Like it's um, a very wide space for a utility. Now, next up is the garage. Obviously, um, some of you, it's really important to see inside the garage. So we're gonna do that right now. It is a double garage, so you can come on in. We have the electric up and over door and even a Tesla charger built into the side. Now, what many of us love to see, perhaps the most important part of the home, especially in modern day living, the kitchen. And look at the size of this. Wow, that kitchen island is huge. A beautiful porcelain finish throughout with a nice amount of like minimal gray veins in the detail there. We have the slightly recessed ceiling, the LED lights surrounding that as well. And I can really see the inspiration taking from the Marbella and even a lot of the Dubai um, homes in, in the way that this feels quite like a villa actually. Yes, definitely. And they have two dishwashers in here. And they've gone for the gold um, hardware and handles on all of the units. Really nice finish. Then finally here we've got the Zanussi ovens, microwave, plate warmer, fridge, nicely tucked away here. And now we can enjoy the views out across the garden and onto the golf course. So I'll give you a preview of the terrace now. We'll then tour the rest of the home and come back out later. Come on out. Now my favorite part about this garden is they have a perfectly picture framed style gap in the hedges to look onto the ninth hole of the golf course. So if you like golf, this really is a cool place for you. And even if you don't, you get to enjoy the views of the greenery. Now we have the sunken seating area here with a fireplace in the center. So Love Island, if you're looking for your next casting area, this could be something for you. And finally, we have the jacuzzi over here, nicely built in, make it a bit more minimal. And I quite like the uh, gray like slate tile surround around there with the lighting. Yeah, I agree. I really like the steps up to the hot tub as well and how it's inside that wooden area. We talked a bit about symmetry, haven't we, Summer? And you said this, uh, view of the back of the house was one of your favorites. Why don't you show everyone? Yeah, here's a little sneak peek. We'll go to the back of the garden later on in the video. What are everyone's thoughts of this home so far? Make sure to head over to the comments and let us know. And if you're enjoying the video, hit that like button. I also want to encourage you, if you're an owner of a luxury or unique home, or you know someone and you'd like to apply to feature on the show, head over to the top of the description and you can find out more information there. We toured not too long ago, which you guys might remember, a home that had a similar finish to this with the white render in South London. Now that home actually sold as a direct result of featuring on our channel has 1.6 million views on YouTube, 20 million on TikTok. So tell them about that sale. My TikTok went viral and basically loads of football players, people from the X Factor, loads of cool people went to view it and it sold. Over 100,000 over the asking price from TikTok and YouTube. So the process really works, but the property does not have to be for sale. Just yesterday we were in Devon touring a, a beautiful home that's not for sale. It was a pleasure to meet the owners on that one too. Now, as we continue the tour, we have the staircase again that we've talked about here. Then we have access to the outside. Now, one thing I always think when I'm walking around a home like this, they have such nice furniture, I mean, the TVs, the speaker systems. Security is an important thing, I would 100% say. And that is why we want to talk to you guys about the Eufy camera, an incredible value for money camera that you can get, not just if you own a luxury home like this, but on any budget really at all. Prices starting from just over a hundred pounds. More on that in a moment, but for now, let's take you through into this way, this part of the home. We have the downstairs powder room through here. This is a treatment room. How nice to have this in your home. We have a boot room for your shoes, and a really nice cupboard. I'll show you this one, actually. Look at that, someone. 
Yeah, that's a great storage cupboard for all the coats. I want to tell you guys more about the Eufy camera. Now, what I love about this is it's super easy to install. Summer and I aren't massive on DIY, but we recently installed the camera to one of our investment properties and it's working great. Oh, my Eufy cameras have arrived. The camera we're going to be setting up today is the Eufy S220 camera, a tiny but mighty 2K camera. Super easy to set up. Let's do it now. Nice and simple. We've just drilled in the attachment there. Took about a minute and next step. It also has a two-way audio, so you can speak to postmen or delivery people if you're not at home, or if you have an intruder, you can tell them to get away in real time. Everything is now set up. That was super simple and we're so pleased with how it's working. Now, did you know over 190,000 homes were burgled last year in the UK? And for most people, their home is their biggest asset. The thing I love the most is there's no monthly subscription, unlike other brands. So if you head over to the description, you can check out and get yourself a Eufy camera. Now we're gonna carry on this tour. I can't wait to show you guys upstairs. This principal suite summer, how amazing is it? It's incredible. Let's go. Now, as we move on to the first floor, the theme of symmetry continues with this central staircase. The landing is actually floating thanks to the structural steel. Can you see that? How good does that look? Yeah, we do love a floating little balcony. And you've got the balustrades here, looking down there, the chandelier. On my right is the study, or one of the six bedrooms. But I really like this room as a study. It looks onto the front, so you've got a view of the drive for any parcels or any people arriving. Now, for the rest of this talk, Summer, I'd love for you to show us around, okay? Okay, yeah, I'll show everyone the bedrooms. Okay, where are you taking us first? First bedroom is here. This is an 11-year-old girl's bedroom, so sweet. Really good interior design taste for a young girl, but look how big it is. Yeah, this is a huge room. And you've got views out to the garden from this room, and you've got your own en suite, which has very big rocker tiles. They follow the same flooring into the ensuite. You've got a large walk-in shower. Gorgeous ensuite for an 11-year-old. Love that. Now, heading out into the landing, we have another bedroom to my right. Now, coming into the left, we have another one. Very similar ensuite to the one I just showed you. And here's the main part of the bedroom. All of the rooms are really good sizes. I would say that. You're not got like two massive ones and then four really small ones. And you've got the great view of the hot tub from here. All right, let's keep this tour moving. We have the principal suite to show you soon, so keep watching. This is a storage cupboard. You've got to have storage in these houses. And the family bathroom is stunning. Let's go in. Wow, beautiful bath. I love the insets they've created here with the candles. You can maybe put some products. They've also gone for brass hardware, similar to the kitchen, the very white and brass contrast. And over on this side, you have a huge walk-in shower. Love it. What do you think to the tiles, everyone? Let us know in the comments. They're really big and they're from the brand Rockier. Anyway, let's keep on moving. Now, Ricky and his wife has just had an eight-week-old baby. Well, it's only eight weeks. Yeah, it wasn't eight weeks when <laughs> they just had it. Yeah. So they've got a newborn and this is their baby's room. So you've got not got a huge amount of stuff. I mean, it's a very big room, isn't it? So you've got the... Little cot over here. And now for the best room, the principal suite. Ready? Wow! The headboard in this bedroom is gorgeous. Matt, can we get one of these? Yeah, for sure. Do you remember where it's from? I think it was like the luxury headboard or bed company. Very wow. a simple company name. <laughs> this room is incredible. It does remind me of the principal bedroom in the 12 million euro La Zagaleta yes. home that we toured that was the inspiration partly for this home. Totally, and best part is the dressing room. So when this was the original house, before they remodeled it, this was the ensuite for that bedroom. Then they changed it to the dressing room and added an ensuite over there. So you've got loads of space. Now let me show you the ensuite. We've got a balcony too, which I'll go out to in a, in a split second. We have dual sinks. And this LED light mirror is inset back into the tiles. And you've got the bath in the family room. If you're more of a bath person, shower or bath? What are you, Matt? You're a shower person. Yeah, I'd hope you'd know. Okay, you ready? Come on out. 
Wow, this is such a great addition to the principal suite. And the owners actually have like their morning coffee out here. Great yeah, spot. Good. I love, that. I love the fact that you've got this shelter up here though, so even when it's raining like it has just started now, you yeah. can enjoy the views across your garden and shelter. We haven't fully gone out to the garden because we want to go check out the golf course on the back of the house. So should we go downstairs, Matt, and grab our shoes? Let's get the umbrella and head through there. Okay, let's explore the garden in a little more detail. So we saw the hot tub and the Love Island area earlier when it was sunny. And now coming down the steps, you've got another little seating area, a very comfortable looking cocoon seat yeah, over there. Yeah, that looks nice. I think this is the perfect amount of lawn though. It's um, easily to maintain, right? Yeah, for sure. And they've got that section up there too. Now we haven't actually been through here yet, but basically there's the golf course just, just over there. So should we go have a look? Yeah, let's watch out for flying golf balls. Obviously it is a live golf course, oh, but yes. let's have an exploration. Okay. So if you enjoy playing golf, this will be perfect. Oh, it looks like a nice golf course. There's like a little bridge over there. Wow. This is stunning, isn't it? And then you, wow, you just get a really nice preview of the home through there. Yeah, yeah 100% I'd recommend someone building their dream home. Obviously it helps like if you've got construction experience, if you haven't, I'd definitely advise getting someone in that has because that they're not as easy as like what some of these television programs maybe make out. Make sure you've got the funds in place and have a roundabout budget. Budgets are harder on these type of designs because you are typically designing some elements as you go. When I went traveling uh, for a year, I started reading a lot of personal development books. I actually got so motivated to get started. I think I come back from traveling early and I actually bought two flats in London um, at the time in um, Elephant and Castle, which had just been awarded like significant, uh, like billions to regenerate the area. So I thought they'd be good sort of long-term bets. If you like, I still own one of those now. Um, and then I lived in one of the rooms, rented some of the other rooms out and done the same again, rented a few of those rooms out. So that sort of got me started when I was only 24. Um, in, in buy to let investment um, in a solid area and then I was getting capital growth with that. So then managed to sort of refinance those to attain more capital to buy further properties. I raised capital through sort of friends and family for my first purchase. It was literally like five grand or something like that because you could get 95% loan to value mortgage. Um, oh, 10,000, sorry it was. And then I done the same again. The, the, the second one I actually, I got a loan for a car and then didn't use it for the car and use it as another deposit um, with a 95% loan to value mortgage. I was earning pretty well at the time in my, I was a like contracting self-employed in construction. So I, I could get like good mortgage borrowing if you like. So that, that certainly helped uh, get on the ladder. I always still had this passion to be doing new build ground up development. So that was something that I wanted to fulfill. So I just literally bought a plot of land, a small plot for a one-off stone build and thought, well, if, even if I break even, the learning experience I'll get from that will be brilliant for future projects. So, so I started with one. I'd, I'd actually done really well out of that, like profit-wise, and the build went really well. Um, so, and, and then grew, and then we'd done six, like a conversion of a former solicitor's chambers and converted it into six apartments. And then I fully furnished that, rented that out and sold it to an investor in London. So I was coming further afield away from our own home, if you like. So I needed to sort of regain focus into, you know, because ultimately you spend a lot of time in your family home. Now that is a wrap of the house tour. We really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with Matt and I. Make sure to drop a comment down below on what you think to the house. And please remember to hit that like button. It really helps us out on the channel and hit subscribe for future house tours. Now, if you're an owner of a luxury home or a unique house, it doesn't need to be for sale and you want to feature on the show, drop us an email to apply. We'd love to hear from you. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this tour and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bum 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 bum